Hi guys, in this tutorial I will cover how to export artboards to files in Photoshop CC 2017. So ensure that you have installed the latest version and we can uh, proceed with uh, my uh, tutorial. So the first thing uh, that I want to mention is that you can have overlapping areas. So that should be artboard with content which is overlapping other artboards. I'm mentioning this because in export artboard to files you will have option to include or exclude uh, this uh, content. Another thing that uh, I want to mention is uh, that uh, when you have selected artboard in the Laris panel you can open properties panel and uh, to choose artboard background uh, color. In this case, with uh, preview one artboard, I have a uh, transparent for background color, but I do have a layer with uh, black fill, which is covering entire artboard. And if I switch to uh, preview two artboard, I have black colors uh, for artboard background color and uh, I do not have a fill layer which is uh, covering entire uh, artboard but uh, visually uh, both artboards uh, appears with uh, black background color. So that's uh, what you need to know before you proceed uh, to export artboards to files. And another option that I want to mention is that you can export only certain artboards, for example, only one or a range of artboards. In that case, you should select uh, all artboards that you want to export before you go to File, Export, Artboards to Files. And in Arbors to Files uh, dialog, the first option is destination. So you click on the uh, browse button and navigate uh, where you want to save uh, files. Uh, second option is uh, file name prefix. You can type uh, custom uh, file name uh, prefix. Uh, by default, it is uh, uh, file name. Uh, so if you delete uh, uh, file name, then Photoshop will use artboard uh, names for uh, file name file naming conversion, or you can type uh, custom uh, naming uh, convention. Uh, let's proceed now to overlapping areas. So you can uh, include overlapping areas and uh, all artboards will have that content uh, in exported files. If you don't want to include the uh, overlapping areas, then uh, check artboard content only. Uh, another option is export selected artboards. So if you have selected one or more artboards in the layers panel, you can use this option uh, to export only uh, that artboards. Otherwise, if you uncheck this option, Photoshop will export all artboards in uh, your file. And here is option to include uh, background in export. So if you check uh, this, uh, option, then uh, Photoshop will use uh, instructions from a properties panel for each artboard. If you have uh, some color uh, selected, then uh, Photoshop will fill uh, background or transparent areas with that uh, color. And then we have a file type and you have a uh, lots of uh, file types like JPEG, PSD, uh, PDF, PSD, PNG 8, PNG uh, 24, and you have export options, uh, uh, which if you check will allow you to uh, select options for that particular uh, file type. 
so you can include the transparency uh, color profile and uh, let me mention that uh, this option include background in export will actually overwrite uh, transparency option for uh, PNG uh, file format, uh, for example. So keep in mind uh, that if you have uh, checked uh, include background in export and your uh, artboard uh, uh, have a black color for uh, artboard background color, then Photoshop will export uh, that artboard as a PNG with black background uh, color. And another interesting option is to include artboard name. Uh, if you check this option, Photoshop will expand dialog and allow you to select font uh, and uh, font size and uh, canvas extension color. Uh, so this means that uh, Photoshop will actually add canvas around artboard and then will, then will place uh, artboard name in uh, top left uh, corner and artboard name will be written with uh, font and font size that you choose at the bottom of artboards to files dialog. So when you are done with uh, instructions how to export arbors to files uh, you simply click on a run button and wait a couple of seconds uh, so thanks for watching cheers and if you have any difficulties to use uh, this uh, script please do not hesitate to leave comments on youtube or on my blog which is design easy